Now, Francois Hollande, let's talk about that with Pepe Escobar, Asia Times roving correspondent on the line from Bangkok this morning. Morning there. Um, the the morning. NATO summit we were talking about is coming up next month, where Francois Hollande said he's set to announce plans for an earlier troop withdrawal from Afghanistan. What sort of fallout uh, will that have on France's allies in the region? How are they going to respond to that? What kind of reaction is he going to receive generally, do you think? In fact, most European countries want out of uh, these NATO adventures, not only in Afghanistan, but in the rest of the world as well. So Holland is going to get a lot of uh, support for that. He pledged during the campaign, no French soldiers in Afghanistan after the end of 2012. In fact, uh, some already left from other European countries and some will leave next year as well. So we will be left to the 20,000 plus Americans. Well, talking of which, what's what the relation is going to be like? How's it going to pan out with Washington? I mean, Sarkozy aligned at France with Washington over Iran and Syria. Do you think Iran's going to stay the course or will we see a new direction there too? No, the, the great lines of Sarko's foreign policy, they will stay, but they will be tweaked by Holland and the socialists. Very, very important. Holland wants a strategic partnership with the BRICS countries. Brazil, Russia, China, and India especially. Uh, in Beijing, it's very interesting. The first impressions from Beijing is that we can do business with this guy because unlike uh, King Sarko, who was uh, completely unpredictable and very arrogant, the Chinese didn't know who we were dealing with. They want stability. Mm -hmm. So they view a Holland self-described normal guy as the precursor of very normal relations. So. From the point of view of Beijing, this is already a goal. Well, uh, from the it, point of view, of and what's in it for France sorry? regarding the BRICS countries? Um, uh, what help help with its financial troubles? Yeah. No, very important, Kevin. In fact, uh, this is the where Obama and Holland will clash head on. Uh, in spite of uh, Obama's sympathies uh, for Holland, uh, for the left in, in France, and for the left in Europe in general. Holland wants a renegotiation of the financial arrangement in the world, and that means the end of the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency. The BRICS want the same thing, and now they have an ally inside the European Union that happens to be one of the motors of the European Union. So bye-bye Mercosy, now it's Mercolande. So Holland, on the internal front in Europe, he'll be trying to convince Merkel that this austerity business is drowning Europe. And on the external front, he will coordinate with the BRICS and say, look, another way to change the whole system is to try to change the financial system as it works. And that will mean a basket of currencies as reserve currency in the world. So expect major fireworks inside Europe and across the world as well. Okay, Pepe Escobar, thanks for your thoughts. Uh, thanks for joining us there. Asia Times roving. Thank you.